David McLennan grew up working on his father's farm near Swan River, Manitoba, and was always keen to apply that same work ethic to his schooling as well. I always loved going to school in one-room schoolhouse, and I, I would always finish my work in about 15 minutes and spend the rest of the hour reading books. So that was maybe one of the best childhood influences that I had to really learn how to work independently. As I was growing up, we always knew about Banting and Best. They were, <laughs> they were Canadian heroes. But to actually be able to work in their department was a tremendous opportunity. David McLennan is indeed a star in Canadian research. He is really the scientist scientist. The first grant that I wrote was uh, to, to study a calcium ATPase or calcium pump that was in the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which is a, a membrane system that regulates uh, muscle contraction and relaxation through releasing calcium into the muscle to cause contraction and pumping it back out of the muscle to bring about relaxation. And within the first three months or so that I worked in my own lab, I had purified the protein, the calcium ATPase or calcium pump. And um, that was like a completely novel piece of work. So the main accomplishments of David is the study of how is calcium regulated in the muscle and in the heart muscle. The implication is that regulation of calcium is extremely important in all tissues of the body. He's been an example how medical science should be carried out. He's linked this to disease. He's made sure that there were diagnostic tests that would identify those diseases. And he's linked with clinicians so that the uh, calamity of that disease could be reduced or eliminated. I had learned between 13 and 15 how to study independently. And so I had a degree in, in agriculture followed by a postdoctoral fellowship in, in biochemistry. And, but I never believed in disciplines. If we needed to learn how to do something, we just went ahead and, and learned it. And so we learned molecular biology, which allowed us to clone the ATPase. Then we learned human genetics. Then we learned how to express proteins. We learned how to mutate them. It requires a lot of courage to cross disciplinary barriers and this is becoming more and more important for global research, health research and in this way we all look at David as a role model for all of us. There's not many like him. Uh, in science many of us fade earlier on, you know, he hasn't, he's still at it. Going through with 30 or 40 years working on one problem and actually getting it to a solution. How does the calcium pump work? I mean, you have to feel very good that when you left the field, <laughs> that it was solved. A world-renowned interdisciplinary researcher with unrelenting focus, an insightful international collaborator, prolific author, educator, and mentor, Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. David McLennan.